Okay, we're going to do now RS47 on page 219. In this one, we're going to find the area of a trapezoid. Now, this is given that we don't know yet the formula for a trapezoid. Well, I know the formula, but frankly, it doesn't make much sense to me. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to make sense out of it. So we cut out two identical trapezoids. We're going to measure the bases, or the parts that are going to touch the bottom of the trapezoid. We're going to measure them in centimeters. So for this one, I need to be a little more accurate. So this one, the base is 7.5 centimeters. The upper base is smaller, and the upper base is 4.5 centimeters. Now the height, the height is the perpendicular distance from the two parallel lines. So if I go and I measure straight down, the height is three centimeters. So this dotted line right here, that is the height, and my height is three centimeters. Rotate the second copy of the trapezoid and place it end to end of the first. Now this trapezoid is identical. Okay, so the area right now is going to be doubled when I put these together. Just remember that. So I put these two together and I've now created a parallelogram. What are the base and the height of this parallelogram? I'm going to write this on the other one. So this is going to represent the trapezoid. Just so we don't get confused, I'm going to write parallelogram on the other shape. Okay, let's measure. Now the height didn't change, as you can see. I put this together. I don't need to measure it again. It didn't change. So my height is three centimeters. Now, this is the tricky part because I didn't glue these down, and I probably should have. The base is 12 centimeters. Now, when I measure the upper base, it's also 12 centimeters. I put together two trapezoids that had different bases, and I end up with a parallelogram that has two bases that are the same. Well, notice what I put together. I put a short side with a long side, a short side with a long side. So the parallelogram that I've created now has a base of 12 centimeters. So, what are the, find the area of the parallelogram. So this is part E. The area of this new parallelogram, I know the area of the parallelogram. The area is equal to the base times the height. So in this case, the area of the parallelogram is going to be 12 times 3. Or the area is going to be 36 square centimeters. Use the area of the parallelogram to find the area of the trapezoid. What was your last step? Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to figure out the area of this trapezoid. Now, the base that I had here was I took a small base and I added it to a large base. So that created my base. So to find the area of the trapezoid, What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the area of this parallelogram and I'm going to divide it by two because there's two trapezoids in here. Well, the parallelogram was created. Now let me label this because this gets a little confusing. The parallelogram was created by putting a short side and a long side together. See, I put together base 1 and base 2 together, and I multiplied it by the height. That gave me the area of the parallelogram. Now, the area of the trapezoid. Remember, these are two identical trapezoids. So, if I take one away, the area is now cut in half. half. That's right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half for the trapezoid. You're going to take base 1 
plus base 2. Multiply it by the height to get a parallelogram. Then you're going to cut it in half to get the trapezoid. And that's how you find the area of a trapezoid.